Greetings and salutations, MegaWizard79 here with another episode of Sif Shield Maiden of Skyrim. Uh, so, now once again, uh, I'm not at my destination, but there's another good reason for this. I found Miko. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Well, after my years living in these woods, it looks like the rock joint will finally be the end of me. I guess that's fine. All my friends are long dead. The only one left is poor Miko. He was always a loyal companion, and I know he'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. Now, interestingly enough, I can sleep in this bed. Creepy. Now, the best part about this is that, um, what is it? Uh, I can have her and him at the same time. Come on, guys. Now, Miko's actually pretty interesting. Um, I think he levels up with you up to, like, level 10 or something like that. So, he's, he's not partic- he's not really that weak. And if you take it, and if you, uh, leave him at, um, one of your, one of the houses you own, um, he basically, uh, will stay there instead of, uh, coming all the way back home here. Uh, there's Dragon's Bridge. so fast. One minute the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. No, I was too afraid to look. I don't know what we're going to do now. We have nothing left. You're too kind. Thank you. Be careful and stay safe. Mm, okay. Alright, but, uh, actually, yeah, we want to go across that bridge, I think. Yep, this is the way we want to go. So this will take us to Dragon Bridge, and then Dragon Bridge goes straight to Solitude. I'm going the right I hope I'm going the right way. Hang on. Ah, ah, there we go. Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yep. This is why the town is called Dragon's Bridge, by the way. Uh... Thank you. 
Yeah, I was thinking about taking a nap here, but it's fine. I can do it later. Oh, uh, that right there, that's uh, Meridia's Temple. We might go there next. I haven't decided yet. Nah, it's funny. These guys are trying to get to Solitude, and they're going in the wrong direction. Hmm, interesting. Looks like they don't want to talk to me. This is what I find really funny, though. There's a Stormcloak camp right here. It's like not even that well hidden. It's like right down there. You can see it from up here. Yeah, see? There it is. Tempted to go to the steed mount. Or, sorry, to the steed, um. Because it's right up here. It's like right here in this general vicinity. Uh, it's just a little hard to get to because of the mountainous terrain. But I am tempted. some gold for can you spare a septum oh thank you divines bless your kind heart i was the finest scout in the legion once tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble lost my helmet in one of the old caves my pretty pretty helmet life just got worse after that kept losing things so many things Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. What? You see a man falling on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. I do miss that helmet. Hmm, right. Uh, I'll sell stuff later. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Mind yourself in my city, lass. This here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the Emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. Hmm. <laughs> 
I wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But do you know who really makes history? The person who writes it. <laughs> Farewell, stranger. Almost at level 20, and then we can start the actual. Ah, there you are. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh, oh no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. <laughs> it means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. <laughs> oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Mm. I find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. I'm writing it in. <laughs> Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked Winterhold, but as Gear seemed to be saying, Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? No, that, that's pushing it too far. It's a very exciting, but highly unlikely. I can't possibly write that in. Ah, uh, you know, fun. Uh... They got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> <laughs> it has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. <laughs> yes, well, see that you keep at it. That is all. Oh. It's too bad I'm not uh 
dressed appropriately for the court, but eh. Uh, well. Hmm. Eh, it's fine. Forget it. I do hope the court likes the purse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Oh yeah, that's right. He just uh, sits there and basically, uh, when he's ready, hmm, that's the case. I could kill like two birds with one stone, but eh, now nah, forget it. I do hope the court likes the purse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to Winter Hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, Winter Hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Seville Sintel has crossed the magical theory. Oh, I've done us a great service here. here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Hmm. Soon, 
soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! <laughs> okay, Doak. No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. Yes. I imagine you do. Upstairs, I think. Oh. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Okay. Let me see... I just want to see if I can take a nap real quick. Owned... It's owned... 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 Shoot. Every bed is freaking owned. Meals are served to bards at designated times. Find an inn if you want to make requests. <laughs> what a jerk. Uh, yeah, that's his. You found the Bard's College Kitchen. Congratulations. Man, you are... You're a piece of work, aren't you? All right, uh, let's see. Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice. So, would you like a tune? Oh, did you need something? All right, let's see what I want to do. Um... If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that... Perhaps you could spare a tomato. Hey, want to play tag? If you're interested, Travis. Perhaps if I were a little more blessed, I could afford to give away my fruit. Fresh fish. As is, Straight from you'll the have to pay, Roland. Keep the cold at bay with our spiced wine. <laughs> Pardon me. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. <sighs> so. She has an interesting quest to do. Good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might. It's stored away. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? <coughs> Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Okay, let's see. Don't need that. Let's see. 
that. That's a good paralysis potion. I think I can make some stuff with that. <laughs> take that off you. I'll take that too. Ice race teeth. <laughs> Potion of haggling. Uh, let's see. Forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Mm, I'm peckish now. Alright, first things first. <laughs> All those bards. Seems there's always Welcome to the more to be done. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. But a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh boy. Okay. Unhindered, weighs nothing, and doesn't slow you down when worn. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be good later. And when Walker, yeah. Hmm. So what can I do? Bribing, persuasion. Oh yeah. I should probably do that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I need to increase my DPS. Alright. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. I bet you are. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Alright, so he should be right in here. Uh, yeah, oh. Heard they're reforming the dog? What 
do you need? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. I'm waiting. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Generally posting information is need him. to know only. It's not a cause. It's a rebuild. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. The daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White One Legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force the Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have. What do you need? We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. Hmm. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. S such... Uh, ah, yes. So, fun fact about those things, apparently eagles, they're, they're not creatures. Um, you know, like, they're not actual animals. They're just, uh, essentially flying crates. to be. Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Okay. You've done... You've done well by restoring our festival. Burn the king! It's so nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. You've done well by restoring our festival. You might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival, after all. <laughs> Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear us. Yeah, it's your festival meat pie, specially made. I said a free meat pie, as in one. Here's yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. The festival has really Actually, increased my sales. Just one bottle per customer, except for the man who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles candy. for you. Get your King Olaf's festival candy. Yorn is the best of the bunch. You <laughs> should hear him sing. Okay. Ah, just... Let's see. How much does this restore? Eh. That eh, one's not. Welcome, people of Sol. Dude, we of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, we remember all those solitude soldiers out fighting the good fight in this thankless war. Like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. 
Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. Nice. You there. Have you performed your voice exercises today? Always. Perfection takes dedication, after all. Yes, well, see that you keep at it. That is all. Yeah. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Labrina. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. Nah. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! <laughs> Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Now you can <laughs> say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. I swear, these people. Alright, so I got the loot. That, uh, he's just a cleric. She's just a student. You've done well by restoring our festival. It's actually, just a bottle for me today. I'm thinking of giving it to Vivian. Sure, Sorex. Just like you did the last one. <laughs> well, the last one was a warm up. <laughs> oh, boy. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Where's the other? I guess he's probably inside sleeping or something. Uh, let me go find him. But yeah, so... Uh, Alright, so we got the flute. We got that guy's hat. We got Meridia's quest. What else we got? Not there. Uh, that's just that guy. Excuse me. Ah, here he is. They found it. They actually found it. Rion's drum. Nobody knows where he died, and therefore where his drum might be. Haldir was the missing link. Rion entered Haldir's cairn in secret and presumably died there. Now all I need to do is find someone to get it. Wait, you. You could do it. I need you to get me that drum. You're joking, right? <laughs> Only the most famous battle drummer of the Second Age? Well, famous among bards, at least. That drum has been in half a dozen famous battles. It's a priceless artifact. Rion was always looking for new stories to tell. It seems he was writing a lay about Haldir when he vanished. That was the missing clue. I suppose I should return to my papers. Uh... Nico, I, I kind of need you to move out of the way. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. All right. So, okay. So, that's him. Yeah, I think that's all the professors. So, let's see. Yeah, so we got the drum, the flute. Got to go tell her. Find his thing. Dawnbreaker. Let's see, so where are all these? Ooh, boy. Uh, what's this one? Oh, of course. Of course the flute had to be there. Um, then we got this one here. That's where his hat is at. Her and the other guy. Here it is. Uh, oh. Oh. That place. Right, that place. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of fun things to do. Alright, we'll get those some other time. Uh, we'll just take care of these other ones first. Alright.
Yeah, it looks like everyone's packed up. That guy. Solitude wouldn't be the same without the fire festival. City owes you a debt of gratitude. She's probably sleeping. There she is. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from... You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. All right. If you're looking for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Marard. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Everything all right? Yes. Yes. All right. So in the next, uh, I guess we'll just cut it off here for now. And in the next episode, um, we'll probably. All right. So we'll save that quest for later. Um. So we're gonna go and do this quest. And then that'll probably push us all the way up to 20, and then we can start the main storyline. Uh, but until that time, though, this is MegaWizard79, bidding you all adieu.